Hey everyone, it's Elise from Cycle 9. So I've been thinking a lot about recently about sustainability and what, uh, what that word really means. Um, of course our business is really based on a sustainable living model. Um, using your bike more and your car less uses less resources and that ultimately uh, preserves resources on our planet for our growing population and other things that are going on, other, other plants and animals that also depend on the earth. Um, but I've been thinking really what does sustainability mean? Uh, and one thing that I came across last night uh, when I had a little free time I was watching um, a talk on TED and TED is a, you can go to the website and it's a collection, it's a conference, a collection of people giving talks on various issues um, and some of them are really interesting so I was watching this one last night, it was a woman who had gone around the world and collected photographs, taken photographs of the world's oldest living things. And she, she looked specifically for things that were 2,000 years or older. Uh, and most of them were plants. Uh, there were a few fungi and actually a bacteria. Um, so things like that, that that were very, very old. But one of the things that struck me about her talk was she really infused the whole talk with, um, with the value that we're, we as humans are changing our earth and that that's a bad thing and, um, and that we shouldn't be doing this because these... 2,000 year old things are going to be wiped out because um, we've, we've changed the earth. And well, I, I agree that that's, uh, that would be terrible if that happened. It, it also struck me that, that a lot of people seem to think that the earth is a static place and that we should go back to some time before humans, whenever that is, or before modern development, where things were idealistic and everybody got along, all the plants and animals lived in this perfect balance. Um, and frankly, that just doesn't exist. Um, there is no such time. <laughs> and any time that, that people are around, or even before people, that animals are around. Animals are changing plants. Plants are changing animals. The earth is a dynamic and changing place. Um, and that let's give let's give the earth a little bit of credit for um, you know being able to adapt. That's that's really why the earth has been around for so long. All these animals and plants and really things have created so much diversity because of it. I mean, if we didn't have changing environments, we would not have a diverse life. So um, I think that point is lost on a lot of people. They they kind of think humans are separate from the rest of the earth, and I, I just really don't think that that's true. We certainly have the ability to change things faster than the rest of, um, the, rest of the earth, but we're not separate from the earth. Um, and that, that was just a point I, I came across when I was listening to this woman talk about um, how, you know, we've, we've, we're going to change the environment for these things and wipe them out. and. Um, and, well, I do agree we should try to really do our best not to wipe out other species. I do feel that um, we should remember this fact that, that the Earth is a dynamic and changing place, and nobody can really predict the future. Um, so that's my, my thought for today, and with that I'm going to continue to go and try to live my sustainable lifestyle of using less resources, because I do believe that's the right thing to do. Um, and with that, I think the earth is going to change in a way that, you know, hopefully will benefit all of us. Uh, so that's my thought for today, and uh, comment below, please, and um, we'll see you sometime soon.